Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off in the voodoo lady's house. And we've just got our latest dose of help from her. That's hopefully going to help us get off Flotsam Island. But first, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video. So you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. So, um, let's have a look around. We talked to her. Heavy rug. Is that some sort of voodoo four square court? That is the symbol of the crossroads. The intersection shun between this world and the world of the spirits. All those who practice the voodoo must make offerings to the crossroads to draw magic into the world of the living. Really? Because I've never see. seen LeChuck offer up anything to anyone. That is because <laughs> LeChuck is a selfish abomination, hoarding voodoo power for personal gain without concern for the natural order of things. Now that he's human, his leftover plundered mojo is oozing around like a disease, clogging the crossroads with its putrescence. Like a toilet. Sure, why not? <laughs> like a smelly toilet. Um... There's this voodoo shrine here. God, there's a lot of things here. Uh, let's take a proper look around. What's this interesting bottle? Looks like maybe we can get something out of that. What's this? Ah, the spirits have guided you well. That is a bottle containing an ancient scroll left behind by the Vakalians, the former inhabitants Vakalians. of Flatsam Island. Ancient scroll, huh? Do you think you can tell me anything about these messed up winds? Perhaps, but first, you'll have to figure out how to break the unbreakable bottle I've sealed it in. Unbreakable bottle? Why would you do that? Some secrets are too dangerous to fall into mortal hands, Threepwood. Anything else you want to tell me about this scroll in the bottle? I purchased a scroll from a bitter old pirate named McGee. Make of that what you will. McGee. Ah, oh, that's the glass blowing guy, isn't it? Murray? <laughs> nice little reference to Murray there. Very good. I wonder if Murray's going to be in this game. What's in this chest? It's locked. Yes. And it will remain locked until it's ready to reveal its secrets many moons from now. I'll take your word for it. Um, what's this closet? Anything in here? In. Don't touch that! It's where I keep my unmentionables. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to know. Dead animals, lovely. Yummy. Is that a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle? Uh, there's a mask there. I can't really see it. Hideous. That's pretty scary, actually. <laughs> uh. That's like the scariest closet in the world. <laughs> okay. What's this? That is a shrine to Noah Treblig, keeper of the crossroads. Okay. Do we have to do something to that potentially? We're gonna have a good look around here because it's always worth hey, checking out the voodoo lady's voodoo voodoo place. Could come in handy. This is not a lending library, Threepwood. Merely intoning the titles of these forbidden tomes can inflict a curse on uninitiated tongues. Mm. Yeah, right. Why is the word titles in capital there? That makes me think that maybe there's something Chicken we need. Chicken hearts for the soul. What to expect when you're expecting zombies? <sighs> Screams of my father. Z is for zombie. The new joy of Hex, a gourmet guide <laughs> to spell making in the 1590s. What's going on with my voice? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's lost his voice. Hand International lotion. House of Mojo brand hand lotion. Good for removing warts, curses, hexes, and unsightly buboes. Warning, not for use against poxes, especially the pox of LeChuck. Rats. <laughs> okay, is there any way we can take some of that? International House of Mojo brand hand lotion. 
Good for removing warts, curses, hexes, and unsightly buboes. Warning, not for use against poxes, especially the pox of LeChuck. Rats. Rats, yeah. Is that how do we pick things up in this game? I've forgotten. It's been like a week since I recorded the last episode. Um What do we have in here by the way? We've got that. Can we maybe combine that with this thing? No. Oh yeah, we've got that locket, haven't we? Once I get off this stupid island and find Elaine, I guess I'm gonna have to track down this decava guy so I can find La Esponja Grande. Yeah, we'll have to do that at some point. Is there any way we can break this? I just bet that Hemlock's map holds the secret to getting off this island and back to Elaine. But how will I get it out of that unbreakable bottle? It's gonna have to be something to do with that guy, isn't it? Oh god, what's knock, that? Knock. Guybrush, don't. Who's there? No. <laughs> it's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Oh no. You fool. What? I've spent months crafting a pyrite parrot of Petaluma and you've ruined it before it was finished. Now I'll have to start all over. We've corrupted it. <laughs> it's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Sorry. <laughs> Can we get that? Well, maybe not. Is it... Where did it fall? Did it not fall anywhere we can get it? What's this crystal Ooh, bocce ball? ball? This is no bocce ball. This is the legendary all-seeing eye of Yamala. All-seeing? Nice. Can it see Elaine's ship? Or what happened to my favorite pair of socks? Not right now. It's, uh, sleeping. Mm, seems legit. Um, what else can we do? Broken crystal ball. <laughs> Uh, cards. Cards, neat. Anyone up for a quick game of five card draw and quarter? Follow the monkey. Melee hold them. These cards are not playthings, Guybrush Treepwood. They are only to be used to divine the will of the fates. So, what right. do the fates have in store for me? You are about to take a journey mm -hmm. on a ship. Yeah. You will suffer a great loss. Right. And make a new friend. Oh, portentous. Not to mention vague. Yeah, very vague. Any new tidings from the cards? Not until you begin your journey. Okay. Uh, shrunken heads. Worst Those things air freshener are... ever. <laughs> Quite scary, actually. Um, voodoo ingredients. Can we have any of those? Can't you use all the magical gunk in these bottles to cure my hand? The pox of Lechuck can only be cured with La Esponja Grande. If you say so. What's this? That really puts the die in diorama. What the hell? What's, kind of, what's this machine? What's this? I recently found this contraption in a swamp. I have yet to plumb its mysteries. Let me have a go. literally did nothing. No, it doesn't seem to be doing anything, does it? I really want that parrot, but I don't think we can get it. Which is a real shame. Oh no, there it is. Can we hey, have if it? If you're done with this, can I have it? How did it get I... over there? It's of no use to me now. Who's the studliest pirate in the whole wide world? It's me, Guybrush Threepwood. Why did <laughs> We can have a lot of fun with this thing. It's our very own Guybrush parrot. Alright, I think that's probably all we can do in here, right? What the hell? Why is that falling down? Hmm. Guess this thing fell off the roof when I had my little LeChuck episode. I should get shouty more often. <laughs> hmm. Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that away. Oh, I wonder if we can follow that in some way. This is the way it said to go, wasn't it? 
wonder if that's some sort of puzzle to take us somewhere new. Could well be. Oh, something's happening. Hey there, Freeport! Do you mind if I get your pirate on the street opinion about the Death Cloud? Death Cloud? Oh, what is that? Pox of LeChuck! The Pox of LeChuck? Hmm, Pox of LeChuck. Nah, two on the nose, not a pizzazz! Death Cloud is punchy! More in your face, more... Ooh, I'm gonna die! Well, I got sick pirates to interview. See ya! See ya. Whatever that is. Um, right, first stop. Glass blower guy. Three vowels. What can you this was Get the one, wasn't it? Vowels. Oh no, crimp digit. Maybe it's not. I'm back. Aye, so you are. What the hell? Is he like all infected? What can you tell me about this bottle? Arr, that'd be one of these special unbreakable bottles. Unbreakable? Ah, there isn't a bottle alive that's a match for my gift for destruction. That's probably true. We'll find a way. <laughs> Impressive. The sacred ingredients are those jagged crystal reefs. They're tougher than diamonds. Weird. But what do you do if you want to open one of these unbreakable bottles in order to, say, look at an ancient scroll you've cleverly sealed inside? Arr, that's a good question, lad. Here, show yes. you how it's done. He's gonna do it. Nice. That wasn't too difficult. This little beauty to chip off flakes from the reefs and to crack open bottles like this one. What is that? Whoa! So let me get this straight. Your unbreakable bottles are, in fact, opened by breaking them? <laughs> Don't get cute, Blandy. I break other things too, you know. Can you break this one for me? Could you use your nifty bottle breaking tool to break open a bottle for me? Of course! Great! That'd be 37 pieces of eight. What? Oh. I haven't got any pieces of eight. Then I guess I won't be breaking any bottles for you. Really? Uh, can we give him anything else? Mm, no. Maybe we'll take this parrot. I don't think they'd enjoy my parrot as much as I do. It's probably true. <laughs> oh, is there a way we can distract him so we can pick that up? Look, a three-headed monkey! Hey! Damn it. Keep your grubby mitts off me, bottle breaker! Sorry. Right, okay, we're gonna need something to distract him. Wow. Never thought I'd see a pirate selling glass unicorns for a living. Hey! And I never thought I'd see a talking baboon! So I guess we're even. <laughs> right, so unicorns. it seems like he's infected with the pox. Get your hand blown glass unicorns! What's the deal with this thing anyway? Can we use it in the forest? God, the pox is like everywhere here now. That's kind of concerning. One thing I do want to check out is something I noticed the last time I was here. Oh look, Doro the Explorer's gone. We'll just head this way for a second. Because there were these weird little... yeah, these things. That oyster shell looks so empty without a pearl. And these, I don't... Oh, curious. Can we perhaps put like this thing in it? No. No, I didn't want that. Uh-uh. No, that doesn't work. What's the deal with these? Can we like use this thing? I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. Yeah, probably not. Uh. Can the parrot go here? That'd make a lousy perch. Ah, but maybe this wouldn't. That'd make a lousy perch. No. Okay. Never mind, we'll scrap that idea. The pox is like in full force now, so. There's that. Um let's head I wonder if we can get to that doctor's place now. I think it was a doctor's, wasn't it? That's what it said. Let's go to the dock. 
sure it said it was a doctor's. We need to find a way of distracting this guy. But as far as I know, I literally don't have anything that can distract him yet. Let's try... I'm sure it was a doctor's, wasn't it? This place up here. Where we got the flower pot from. I wonder if it's open now, because it was closed for a appointment or something. The doctor yeah, so is the in. doctor. The doctor is in, there we go. Bonjour. What Hi the there. hell? Are you a doctor? Mais oui, I am the Marquis de Singe, former court <laughs> physician to King Louis himself. And who might you be? Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Zit Your hand. Yeah, I seem to have come down with something. This is fantastic! We must investigate at once! If you say so. Oh, there we go. Mm. We're in. Très intéressant, alors. And you say your sick little hand has a mind of its own? Yeah, it keeps hitting people, making rude gestures, doing all sorts of stuff I'd never do. Well, not without a really good reason, anyway. Fascinating. <laughs> So, can you fix it? Monsieur Sripwood, you have my word as a former physician of the court of King Louis that by the time you leave here, your misanthropic hand will never trouble you again. Okay, what's a guy like you doing on Flotsam Island anyway? So Is that a what monkey kind of in the cage? Urbanite like yourself wind up in a sleepy pirate island like Flotsam? Ah, mon ami, that is a tale of triumph and tragedy. Many years ago, I was a young physician in the court of King Louis. Those were eighty days, tending to the many ills of the aristocracy, navigating mm. scandalous palace intrigues. I was a rising star in this scientific firmament. And then? I mean, then? A conspiracy <laughs> of jealous scientists accused me of performing inhuman cross-breeding experiments with the Queen's poodles! Scientists what? can be so catty. The king was outraged and ordered me exiled on this deserted tropical island. Deserted? Then you were the first? Oui. Happily, my solitude was short lived, as the merry winds of Flotsam have conspired to bring me many new pirate patients over the years. Ooh, I wonder if there's something weird going on here. Did he do something? What do you know about these crazy Flotsam winds? Scientifically speaking, what do you think is the cause of these crazy winds swirling around Flotsam? Ah yes, the winds. Personally, I'm convinced that they are a rare but perfectly natural meteorological phenomenon caused by a Lagrange inversion of the atmospheric humors in the upper troposphere, causing a counter-cyclonic... Ah, uh... forget I asked. Incroyable! So, Doc, what's the verdict? Ah, oh, monsieur, you are a very lucky man. I am? Ah, oui. The disease spreading through your saucy little parrot hand is like nothing I've ever seen before. That doesn't sound very lucky. In fact, somewhere in that easing appendage may lie the secret to life itself. It may? Hey, nice going, hand. I'll know more <laughs> after I cut it off. What? Huh? Hey! What the hell? But of course, Monsieur Sweepwood. The only cure for a hand that infected is a quick, clean amputation. Amputation? Uh... Isn't that a little rash? No, it's a very big rash, which is why we'll have to amputate. But not to worry, monsieur. Your hand won't feel a thing thanks to my specially concocted grog anesthetic. Ow! Uh... Now, huh. if you'll just relax here a few minutes, I'll be in the back sharpening my petit guillotine blade. <laughs> We don't want to cut off our hand with a dual blade now, do we? <laughs> well, I guess you have a point there. Ah, oh, there's the key. Au revoir. We're what gonna have lose. to escape. But at least my hand seems under control for a while. I better figure out a way out of this tastefully appointed abattoir before the Marquis de Crazy Pants comes back. <laughs> nice. I like the um, picture in the background. It's like a pirate version of Da Vinci's. Um, is it Vitruvian Man? Something like that. Okay, so we can rotate around. Uh, strange what device. That, that is my experimental food row volume, which pulls lightning from the skies via these cute little voids. Why would you do that? Science! 
Right, yeah, science. So there's a microscope. There's a key it's a here. Key. I can't reach it from this position. Can we get it now? It's a key. I can't reach it from this position. We don't seem to be able to access any of our invent at the moment. Uh, it's a I've microscope. Heard of these. I think they're called microscopes. <laughs> it prefers the term in la drama. And I prefer to rip your gizzard out, you sniveling sea slug. Whoa. Oh, there you what go. <laughs> There's the pox kicking in. That's uh, the it's door balcony to door. balcony for mad doctoring al fresco. <laughs> right, let's turn around again. What else can we look at? Picture of Guybrush's hand. Strange drawing of the inside of my hand. I call it la desengraf. I call it creepy. If I rack. spent a few dozen years in a university, I bet I could combine these chemicals to create a powerful acid that would eat through my bonds. But I'm a pirate, so I'll just say R. <laughs> it's a cage. What's in that box? That's where I keep poor little Jacques. Now that I've nursed him back to else after his terrible ordeal, what the hell is he wearing? I'm training him to help out around my laboratory. Okay. Pedal. It's some sort of foot pedal. I can't reach it from here. Uh, okay, there's foot pedals here. Let's see what this does. A banana. Please don't fiddle with my assistant instruction pedal, mon ami. It is, how you say, sensitive. Oh, okay, so it looks like... So that's a banana pedal. This looks like it might do something interesting. That's cheese. Oh! Ouch! That looked unpleasant. Did it zap him? That's a bit mean. It's a shock pedal and a banana pedal. It's the box for Jacques. Hmm. The Jacques in the box. Haha, <laughs> clever. Uh, right. Is there anything else we the can look at? back there, sharpening his blades. Did you say something? No, just talking to myself. I do that sometimes. <laughs> you know I can cure that too. No thanks. I'm no. good. As you wish. Probably take our head off instead. What's this it's bell? It's a cute do? little baby bell. I can't reach it from this position. Okay. Uh, there's the That's key. That's the key to used to lock me down. If only it weren't so far away. Uh, there's pictures. Huh. A stack of pictures. Skeleton. If I had to guess, I'd say that was one of Desinge's former patients. Probably one who came in with a hangnail. <laughs> Picture what device. Amazing device. Ah, I see you have discovered my incredible Illumino Pico screen. It harnesses the power of light to amplify tiny drawings a thousandfold. Right. Just imagine, someday people will be able to share hundreds of pictures of their holiday travels with their extended families simultaneously. Fiend! <laughs> <laughs> Those stairs. are the stairs I naively climbed to enter this lab of horrors. Oh, okay, that's the way out. It's a beautiful rendering of the classic Pirate Da Vinci. <laughs> I like it. Within those musty tomes lies the scientific know-how to get me out of this jam. But even if I could reach them, I'm a pirate, which means I get my know-how from the pages of the sea. Arr. Arr. Okay, I test I never know tubes. what to think of test tubes. I really hate tests, but I'm generally okay with tubes. <laughs> okay. Ah, we can look down here, can we? Is there anything down this way? Bookshelf, no. Okay. It's a cute little guillotine that's about to cut my hand off. Uh, right. So... Oh! Oh, we can tilt it up and down. Right. So I wonder if we can kick that key off of there. We probably can, right? But I will do that in the next episode because we are out of time. So, as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.